everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angie, it's nice to have you guys here. Today, this might be a little bit of an odd video to some, but chances are if you're following me and you've been liking my content, you'll enjoy this video. <laughs> I've done one of these way back when I first started my channel. I think it was one of the first like 50 or so videos I filmed, I'll have to check. But as you can tell from the title, it is a what's in my pen case video. So this is my pen case. I'll go over what this is in a minute. But yeah, that video ended up being <laughs> one of my most popular videos. And so yeah, I thought it was time for an update. So that was from back when I was a PhD student. I wasn't even a candidate yet. So that was back pre-comps, pre-colloquy, <laughs> pre-graduation certainly. Now it is several years later, because uh, five years later, because that was in my first year. I've been doing YouTube for over five years now. That's insane. But yeah, I wanted to do an updated version of this. What is in my, my pen case has changed. What is in my pen case has changed and it it just seemed like a good idea to do. I'm also possibly, I don't know, I normally do change my pen case by the season, but I'm really liking this one. I might also do a pen case collection because I do have quite a lot of pen cases that I use. So getting into the pen case, first of all, what I use. So this is a Ted Baker bag. It is actually meant to be probably a makeup bag, but I've been using it for all my pens and stuff. We've got the Ted Baker logo here. It's got a nice little handle, which is handy. And then what I love about it is that it zips, unzips, and then the lid lifts up. So it makes it really easy to just get in there and get stuff. What's funny is the pen case I was using in that old video was also a Ted Baker pen case. So that has not changed. If I have a Ted Baker bag that I can use to hold my pens and stuff, I will. So yeah, I found that I don't really, didn't really need it for makeup because I don't use, like I'm not, I'm not traveling. So I didn't need a travel makeup bag. And I do have one that I really like that includes slots for brushes and stuff. So when I saw this bag, I put it on my Christmas list. This was a Christmas gift from my mom last year. I knew I really loved the look of this bag, but I had a feeling it wouldn't get used for makeup, and I was right. But it makes a perfect pen case. So you unzip it, it opens up, you've got a little mesh case here, and then you've got the main body compartment here. So what's inside? Well, as you could probably see, I've got my MacBook Pro charger. I've got a little cable organizer that I use, so I just kind of spiral it all up, clip this on it to keep it kind of in place, and then it just fits nicely kind of on the very top of the pen case. This is the pen case that I use when I go over to my parents' house, whether it's just for the day or if I do a weekend over there. Anytime I leave my desk to go work somewhere else, I try to bring everything I could possibly need with me. So I bring a lot and I've just found that putting my power cord in here keeps it a little bit safer and more protected from rather than just throwing it into my work bag in general. I have two adapters. I need to get a new one that just combines these. This, the SD card slot doesn't work very well anymore, but I need it for the USB port. So this goes into the, I think this is a USB-C that Max use. So I can't do the regular USB. So I need this adapter for that. So the very first adapter I bought back when I bought that the, the new MacBook Pro. And then I've got, so then I've got this little one, which is just an SD card. But what I didn't realize when I bought this is it's an SD card reader for either the USB-C that Max use or the regular USB. So I don't use this end at all. I would much rather, I want one about this size, but instead of having a bit that goes into a USB slot, I want to have a bit that I can stick a USB into so that I go from having one this size to one this size, but that does have 
both slots. But for now, I've got two adapters in here. I keep my palm pads in here. So these are just little, they're kind of like mouse pads is how they feel, but they go on the palm rests of a laptop. And so when I'm typing, my hand rests on these, not directly on the laptop. It just keeps my hands from getting as hot and sweaty and like sliding all over the computer, which when you write as much as I do, can become an issue. I've got an extra SD card in here that I haven't opened up. I need to open that, but I also have a little case that has my alternate SD card. So there's one in the camera and then one out of the camera, and then I've got the spare one here. These actually need to go up into the little mesh pocket because that's where my other SD cards are. So I'm just kind of taking things out of here randomly. I've got an erase tape. This is an oops correction tape from Staples. It's Staples brand. So this is ancient because I can't remember the last time I've been in a Staples. It was probably at least a good year or so prior to the pandemic starting. So I've got my headphones. I also have a, an adapter on, on here. So with this end, I can put it in my iPhone or I can unplug that and stick it directly into my laptop. Sometimes I do video editing when I'm over at my parents' house and they don't need to hear me editing out every single um awkward gap and then having to re-listen to the same bit of dialogue five million times while I try to figure out the right place to put the cut. So I do, when I'm over at the house, I will edit using headphones. Also, if I'm on a Zoom call over at the house, um, or something, I'll put in the headphones just so that they can't hear the whole call. So I do keep pens in the pen case. There are pens in here. I keep them in a little knitted sock thing. This is an old iPod Nano sleeve. Does anyone remember the iPod Nanos? <laughs> that was my first iPod. I, I didn't have a regular iPod. My first, my first Apple product ever was an iPod Nano. So this is actually an old iPod Nano sleeve, but in there I keep my pens, and that way if any of them were to leak at the bottom, it wouldn't leak out into the Ted Baker bag. It would leak first into this, so a little bit of extra protection. But I've got a Pilot Varsity, ooh, it looks like the ink is almost out of this. I've got a Pilot Varsity fountain pen because I do love my fountain pens. I've got um, my university branded, department branded pen. It's a regular ballpoint pen, but it does have a little stylus on the end. And I don't know, I found that the ink on this one is really nice and sometimes I use this when I'm grading. I've got one of my standby old faves, the Papermate Ink Joy Gel 0.7 pen in black. I've got a really fancy glittery rose gold one. This is from um, Paper Chase. My mom bought this on our last trip to London in October of 2019. Little did we know that, that would be our last trip for who knows how long. We got lucky that that was, you know, just before everything started and in international travel became a distant memory. And then I have my Zebra uh, Rose Gold ballpoint pen. I also really like the ink on this one. I've got three of these stashed in different places that I use. One thing that a couple of my friends mentioned when I hauled these in a back to school haul or something, I can't remember exactly what it was, is that eventually the pen loses its ability to click closed. It doesn't click closed as much as it used to and it doesn't click at all on the end. It'll just fall right off. So that's a little bit annoying, but I get I get around it. Oh, I also have my Lamy fountain pen, which is my really good fountain pen. This is one of those fountain pens where it's really, really good, but if you don't use it, the ink will dry up, and then I will put it in here and forget about it, and then I don't use it. So I'm gonna leave that out for a little bit. Um, and then I've got this post-it highlighter. So it's got a ballpoint on one side and then it's got a bright pink neon highlighter on the other side and that also has some page flags. It's a good highlighter to have just in case I need a bright one, but I do also have my Stabilo pastel highlighters, the, the Swing Cool highlighters. So I've got 
all of these. I don't have the yellow one in here, but I keep the orange, purple, green, blue, and pink because these are both the, these are the set of colors that I use for color coding my classes. So if I need to do anything with my grade sheets or whatever, I will always have these on me. But then I also use these colors in my publication monthly calendar, each book project. So the pink is Across the Pond, the purple is the Royal Romance and the orange is Independent Hearts and then I also use blue to highlight any marketing deadlines or marketing tasks that need to be done and green is the general color on my calendar for any teaching work and so on my publication calendar I do have teaching deadlines and teaching dates so when the semester starts when it ends when my grades are due because it helps when I'm planning out my publication schedule to see key work dates for my teaching job so that I don't like put a book launch the day after a semester starts or something like that because that would not be ideal. So I do have all of those highlighters with me. I've got another adapter here. Um, so this is my just general SD card reader for my phone. So this lets me take the SD card that's in my camera and plug it into my phone with the lightning cable and then I can get my Canon pictures onto my iPhone without having to go through. I think there's a way to wirelessly connect them, but sometimes that's just too much of a faff, so I prefer to use the reader. Floating around in the bottom, I have a bunch of post-it stickers. I also have this little booklet thingy that my friend Annie gave me for my birthday. She sent me a beautiful box of just lovely, lovely things for my birthday this year, and this was one of them. So it's got these little flags, and then it's got larger post-it notes in these different colors. So I have these for just general need of post-it stuff, of sticky notes, and then I've got this collection all of these random little ones again because these are for the publishing calendar so the pink is for across the pond the purple is for royal romance the orange is for independent hearts and then um i've got a sticker for marketing and then i think these are more like a green but not my teaching green those dates are fixed so i just write those in i think i was using this for project darkness but that has been put on an indefinite hold because I definitely was biting off more than I could chew with that. I've got a binder clip. This is a Ted Baker one. It just says, keep it together. Thought that was really cute. So just have that in there just in case I need a binder clip. I have a couple Invisibubbles because you can never hide these in too many places. Um, so it's always good to have Invisibubbles. I've got a couple hand creams. So I've got the L'Occitan Almond one and the Cooling Hand Gel Cream. And then I have a little bit of the Lana Lips 101 Ointment Multi Balm in Coconut. This is almost out. I need to get a different lip balm for this bag, but I like to have a lip balm in here so that the one that's in my handbag stays in my handbag when I'm out and about and over at the house. If this were not a pandemic time, this would also be the pen case that would go with me if I wanted to work at the library or at Starbucks or something. And so I like to have basically a condensed version of all the desk essentials that I have. So here at my desk, I have a lip balm, I have hand cream, I have Invisibubbles stashed in my desk drawer. So I like to have those in my uh, pen case as well. So I do need to get a new lip balm because that one's almost out. I also have a little mini fragrance. So this is the Wildflower Bergamot Eau de Parfum. I got this in an advent calendar a couple years ago. It still smells really, really good. Oh, I love that smell. I like to have a fragrance in here just in case I get to the house and realize I didn't put on any fragrance that morning. It's nice to have a little something. It's also just nice aromatherapy, to be honest. It just smells really, really pretty. So yeah, I always have a little fragrance in here. It can be a nice pick-me-up in the middle of the day. I've got a little, this is a Compede blister plaster pack, but I've got pills in here. So this just has some excedrin, some Tylenol, headache stuff, just in case I get a headache. So that's the main compartment. Now what is in the bit at the top? I've got more SD cards, so I just kind of have all of my SD cards in here. 
this case sits on my desktop when I'm at home working so if I need these I've got them but then if I'm out somewhere if I'm at my parents house and I want to get something off of one of my other SD cards I've got these if I'm doing any social media work and putting stuff together on Canva if I'm looking for certain images yeah I've just got those with me so I'm never sitting there the fear is that I would be sitting at my parents' house and have an idea for, oh, I could do this, and then be like, oh, but no, I can't, because the SD card I need for that is back at the house or at my apartment. So I have those with me. I have a lens cloth. This is just a little one I got from the National Portrait Gallery, I think. It's just got cameras on it. Thought that was really cute. So I've got that for cleaning both the camera lens, but also my glasses. But then I also have some lens wipes. So I've got a couple left of the Up and Up Target brand one. So I've got two packs of those left, but then I've also bought some new ones, Amazon, and these are by Maxi Clean, and these are lens and screen cleansing wipes. So they're for glasses, but also cameras, both the front lens, but also the preview screen on the back, I can clean with this. My iPad, my iPhone, my MacBook, my watch, any screen that needs to be clean, any lens that needs to be clean, I can clean with these. And I like these ones because they're an extra large size wipe and so I can usually do like my glasses but then also my iPhone with one wipe so I'm not having to use a million wipes to do you know one thing and then the last thing is just my little this is really weird and random but my little compression sleeve for my finger I still it's gotten a lot better but if you've been watching me for a little while you might remember that I was having trouble with my finger. They all can get a little stiff sometimes, but I do find that the middle fingers for some reason um, just hurt the most. So one thing that helps is I have a little compression sleeve. So it just lets me put it on and it just kind of puts a little bit of compression on the, the joint. I should probably also be keeping my wrist compression sleeve in here so I'm going to show you this because it is going to get packed up in this bag. Um, I've been having trouble with this wrist. This is just a nice compression sleeve for my wrist. It is a nice way of just helping my wrist feel okay while I'm working and again it's something that I do like to have in this bag so that if I'm at the house and my wrist starts hurting I've got it with me. So this was in there and then I think I forgot to put it back in. I, I have a pair of these. One tends to stay here at the apartment. I think it's in my bedroom and then one usually lives in here but this got left on my desktop. And then that's the bag empty. Considering it's looking pretty clean on the inside. I've been using this bag for <sighs> pretty much all summer, so at least four months, if not five or closer to six. But yeah, between the little mesh pouch, I kind of like this for things like the lens wipes, the lens cloth, the SD cards. It just keeps some of those little bits in place and then save the main compartment for some of the larger items. So yeah. So that's what's in my pen case. I hope you've enjoyed this. It is kind of a random thing, but it's also almost like a little mini desk tour. It's like my travel desk. These are all the things that come with me whenever I go work somewhere other than my apartment. Right now, that's just my parents' house, but in the future, who knows? So yeah. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. If you would like to see my pen case collection, also give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments because I do, this is not my only pen case. I think, I don't know if you can see them. I've got them stashed up above behind me, but I do sometimes change them out every now and then. Some of them definitely hold more than others. This one holds the most, which is why I've been liking it because it has been nice for the days I go to work at my parents' house because it means I really can take everything I could possibly need with me and nothing gets left behind. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, say hi in the comments. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would really love that. Our question for the video, if you have made it to this point, is let me know what your like top three pen case or desk essentials are other than perhaps your pen, because obviously we all need a pen or a pencil, some kind of writing utensil. So pen aside, what are the other three things you can't live without? For me, I think the three most used things other than my pens 
are probably my SD card reader, my headphones, and definitely my palm pads. So those would be my three other than the pens. So let me know what your top three essentials are other than your pens. Or if you have a favorite pen, let me know. I definitely really love the sparkly rose gold one, but I've stopped using it as much because I'm afraid it's gonna run out of ink and I will have no way to replace the ink. Because I can never find ink replacements in the US for pens that I bought in the UK. It just, I've never been able to figure it out. So yeah, I'm rationing this one out, but this would be my favorite pen, I think. Okay, thank you all for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.